All right, all right. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wahabra Kakodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. It's the brother Yahweh the, coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So, Lord willing, that this video be edified. 2022, the year turning up, and that's right, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is turning up. All right, more so than ever, and especially in these times. All right, especially in these times. And I want to do a lesson where it's, it's uh, lamb, lamb backing on the elder brother y'all would call. He was going into his spiritual speaking this morning about how men are doing the work of the Lord deceitfully, you know, by not going on to the highways and byways, telling brothers that, you know, that the Internet is, you know, the cheap place of concourse. That as long as we put the videos up on the Internet, you know, that's all we have to do instead of going on to the highways and byways and a cheap place of concourse where we can be seen among these people, you know, and you're doing the work of the Lord deceitfully. Because ultimately, a lot of uh, men in Israel are faint hearted. You know, they're fainting. They're passing out. And that's, and that's a damn shame, man. Here it is. We're at the end of this devil's kingdom. The Lord is moving in the earth. And you got a lot of men looking back taking their hands off the plow, okay? Taking their hands off the plow, looking back. And they only going to be fit for destruction, man. They thinking what they're doing is pleasing the Lord, but ultimately, it's against the scriptures. Matter of fact, before I grab that, let me grab this. This is Proverbs. 16 and verse 25 and it reads there is a way that seems right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death that's right man okay and that's why the scriptures say do not lean onto your own understanding okay see we have to go by the God that Yahweh by Shema Shah has set up for us and that's what be instant in season out of season all right going out on the streets okay going out on the streets for the perfection of the saints. It says what? That we got to minister and do minister. And then also the scripture speaks about how you shall see your teachers that they shall not be moved into a corner anymore. So if you're doing the opposite of that, you're doing the work of the Heavenly Father deceitful. And ultimately, man, the Lord's going to destroy a lot of men that's not going out on the highways, going in the, in the woods, in the wilderness, you know, going into a park and calling it live camp. No, man, your ass supposed to be on the streets. But ultimately, we know why. Because you, you're still doing the will of your house by Shema Shah, but you're doing it on the left-hand side. And we see that we're supposed to get on these, men. We're supposed to be speaking about, you know, these things. Because when we don't, the Lord's going to, you know, revenge us. Because it says what? If we do not warn the wicked from his wicked ways, that his blood shall be upon our head. So we see that we're supposed to be warning these jakes, man. Hey, the things that you're doing, you know, you better stop, man. You better repent. Because if not, man, the most high is gonna put your candle out. This is first Titus one and verse and verse thirteen. The witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may sound in the faith. That's right. We're supposed to be rebuking God sharply. If you see him constantly going off. You're supposed to be rebuking, speaking up, man. Okay? If Israel going off, if these Jake's going off, we're supposed to be speaking about it, man, and hoping that they correct themselves. Okay? If not, man, the Heavenly Father is going to judge them. Okay? So let's go back to Ecclesiastes. Because ultimately, man, that means a lot of these guys are faint-hearted. All right? They're losing. They, uh, they're losing. They're losing fight. Okay, they're losing fight. And if you lose the fight in this battle, you know, if you go back into the world, please believe that you're not going to be defended in the times of trouble. The Lord is going to allow Satan to continue to jack you up. And to ultimate, the Lord is going to send that death angel. All right? See, we want to be defended in these times. That's why we're going to continue to be diligent to make our call and election sure. Okay? Be diligent. And taking heed 
But you got a lot of rebellion among our people. Rebellious. A bunch of reprobates. All right? Rejected. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 2 and verse 12. Won't be to the fearful hearted and fainted hands and the sinner that goes two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believed not. Therefore shall he not be defended. You see? So if he's faint hearted, okay, you're not going to be defended in the time of trouble. Or all hell break loose. When Esau show his true horn, okay, when Esau start to demonize brothers, okay, when he have your face on the news, he have clips of you speaking against a so-called white man at camp or wherever you at, you know, you're going to faint in that day, man. Because ultimately, you're doing the work of the Heavenly Father to seek you. And the Heavenly Father is going to give you over to this to this devil. Okay? So it says, Woe unto you that lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? That's right, man. A lot of these guys are losing patience. And that's a damn shame, man. That's a damn shame that guys are giving up the fight. Throwing in the towel. Well, only... When the Most High is a hey, bringing this thing to a speedy witness, man. That's a damn shame, man. But a hey, ultimate, you're not of the Israel, the Most High. All right, the Lord is making a great shift in the house of Israel, and a lot of guys are going to be cast out. A lot of guys are going to be uh, founded. Okay, it says they that fear the Lord will not disobey His word. That's right. And a lot of guys are starting to lose that fear. Because why are they going out to the sticks? They're going to the gazebos. They're not going to the highways and byways. They're not, you know, edifying the church. You know, they're not being diligent. Because ultimately, that fear is leaving them. That fear is leaving them. And they don't disobey the word of the Lord. They're doing their own thing. They're being wise in their own heart. When the scripture speaks about how the heart is deceitful above all things. All right. What they believe that was right. Like I just read in Proverbs 16th chapter. The ways may seem right to a man, but the end of it is death. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And that's us, man. Ottawa Ross is off. And they that love him will keep his ways. And what's the ways of the Lord? Going out on the highways and byways teaching. Pushing the word, man. Being seen among these people. Okay? And in season, out of season. They that fear the Lord will seek that with his, which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight. Okay? A lot of these guys don't want to be humble. They are proud in the spirit. Saying... We will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. For his, for as his majesty is so as his mercy, man. You know, a lot of guys want to be known among men. Want to keep that, that ranking that they, that, they, uh, that they got. You know, they want to be high esteemed among men. But no, man, this is all about Yahweh Hashem Shah. So, man, a lot of these guys better humble themselves, man. You know, better humble themselves. Take a look in the mirror. And the scripture says, examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. So if you're doing these things, man, you better correct yourself, man. Because the Lord is going to bring judgment to the house of Israel. First Peter, matter of fact, we're going to close out with that. Hey, this is a, you, 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 one that's, you know, doing the will of the Lord deceitfully, man. That, hey, that's a scary thing, man. You're playing with fire. You playing with fire. You tempting the Lord. All right. This is uh First Peter four and verse seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? That's right, man. So. The Lord's going to start with ones who know they're Israelites. They came into the fold. And you're still doing the work of the Lord deceitfully. You're going to get jacked up first, man. 
All right. Like the scripture says, smite the shepherd and the sheep and the, she and the sheep shall scatter. So you're going to have a lot of these congregations scattering, not knowing what to do, not knowing what to go. But the Lord's going to have certain individuals among these camps following the true doctrine, being healed being, and going to be saved, being a part of the Lord's elect. All right. 